for no sound or sound twice? Let us know. In the comments below. In the live chat. <laughs> <laughs> no one will get that reference now because... Yeah, no one, uh, no one will hear that. Hopefully, you have to add subtitles. You have to go I'm back not going to know what we said. You have to go back and edit and <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What Judy, oh, we're banking it. Okay, we've got sound now. Good. Okay, got to remember well, to keep the mic on. I was going to say, should we just like edit the first mm. half out? We're doing VR strips, by the way, <laughs> um, just before our mask. Yeah, let's go over what masks we're doing again tonight. I guess, yeah. So we are doing the pure source cell sheet masks. Boom. Uh, Corey will be doing the tea tree, or tea tree mask. Doesn't say oil, technically. And the pearl mask. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I got these at Save on Foods. They were like $3 each, I want to say. Super affordable. And when I first picked them up, I thought they were like the store's no-name brand because the packaging is kind of like... Yeah, they're a bit like... Basic? Yeah. Minimal? But uh, no, they're actually Misha brand. And you know what the other Misha mask we did on our channel was? What? The chin strap oh. that we could hardly fit on our ears. I don't... Yeah. I don't think we like that one very much. No. But why don't you read us the directions? Well, on mine, um, Pearl's story. Shining beautiful pearls make skin bright and smooth. About cell sheet. With its compact, compact cell fabric, this sheet mask adheres lightly to the skin, delivering active ingredients to the skin effectively. Directions. Step one. After washing your face, prepare the skin with toner. Step two, spread the sheet mask evenly over the face. Step three, leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and remove the mask. Step four, gently pat until fully absorbed. Yeah, so we washed and toned, yep. and then we we're like, oh, let's do no strips first. Yeah. And... Which, we have a couple minutes left. Yeah, mine's almost hard enough to take off. Anyway, these masks are, Misha's a Japanese company, mm -hmm. and if you purchase the, anything from their website lately, I'm pretty sure they got hacked, so maybe go check your credit card statements. I've never bought anything from their online website, but they're actually made in Korea, Ooh. and they don't do animal testing. Ooh. Yeah. And mine's tea tree oil. It says tea tree extract, which is famous for its skincare effects. Is excellent in calming, irritation, and refreshing skin. <laughs> and while we were just waiting for our no strips to dry, we thought we would do some Christmas trivia because Doug loves Christmas, just I like my mom. Do they indeed. love Christmas? Love Christmas. <laughs> Couldn't wait till I got the Christmas tree up, right? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so the question was, yeah. So the question was, what Christmas beverage is also known as milk punch? It's eggnog. It's eggnog. Because now we're looking at the answer. And we both guessed it right, but... <laughs> yeah. um, one of Santa's reindeer shares the name with a famous symbol for a Valentine's Day. Which reindeer is it? It's not Cupid. I think I know what it is. Blix Blixen? No. Donner? No. Rudolph. Wait. Donner and um, Blixen. I don't know all their names. I think it's Vixen. Vixen? Cupid! Cupid. Oh, there's a Cupid! There's a Cupid? This Damn it! Go in the song. I guess yeah, a symbol of Valentine's Day, not like just a thing that's. Um, mm. I think I can see the answer. Well, I don't know it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I must know it. What Christmas themed ballet premiered in Saint Petersburg, Russia, in 1892? These are the easy questions, by the way. Oh, good. So it must be the. That's Nutcracker. why I got the Jimmy Stewart one correct. Is it the Nutcracker? It is the Nutcracker. Yeah. I think mine's ready to come off. Sure, we can skip ahead. Uh, three minutes left, but oh. yeah. Well, we could wait. Okay, fine. You could wait. We'll mine wait. Mine feels good. Okay, I'll take mine out too because yeah, it feels pretty, pretty solid. Doug likes to do everything perfectly to, to schedule. Yes. Oh, last time I did a nose trip was at my mom's house. I used one of your uh, Walmart ones. That's pretty good. Yeah. You got some nice, like, big pieces in there. Ooh, this one's way better, though. Oh, this one is, like... Oh, my God, there's a huge one. Look at that. Mother beeper. Ah. Uh, 
I'm gonna tone my nose right. Oh, we don't have any toning things. Just grab a Kleenex. Uh. Oh. oh my god, god you're so sick. Oh. <laughs> that like Ew. hurt getting off. Yours is always, like mine's always great on the sides, but yours is always good like all over. Look at this one though. I don't think you have one as big as mine. That one there is so huge. How did that even fit in my Okay, nose? that is really big. You guys want to see? Yeah. 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 You can kind of see it, hopefully, but that's gross. Very satisfying. It's really gross. Yeah. I have two giant ones. So it's a good live stream, guys. This is quality content. <laughs> There's, I'm sure, channels dedicated to this. Anyway, there let's are. put these masks on while our pores are nice and <laughs> okay. open. Sounds good. So yeah, jump ahead to <laughs> these. So it says it's a cell sheet mask, and I don't know what a cell sheet mask is. It looks just like a normal fabric mask. Yeah, that's kind of what I would assume. I don't know if it might just be how it's woven, or it might just be a marketing gimmick. Who knows? Uh, Mine doesn't have much of a scent, which I like. Yeah. I thought it would smell very strongly of tea tree. Yeah, mine doesn't have a scent either. Like no, a little bit. I think mine maybe has a tiny bit more of a scent than I yours. Can, yeah, I think I can see the tea tree-ness. Does anyone care if I... Modify it a bit. Good. Beard it. Beard it up. Mine kind of smells like Lysol wipes, but not in a bad way. We need any scissors. Okay. Change the plan. We'll just put it on. <laughs> they wouldn't sharpen it? <laughs> not really. Can we cut no. it? I was also holding it really stupidly. Hmm, but... Yeah. Um, it does, so, mm. for whatever it's worth, <coughs> Excuse me. they do feel like ly Lysol wipes. Like, just like, physically they feel like it, but... Mine it's smells not like it. Really a bad... They're not thing. cellular sheets, I don't think. It just says cell sheet. Like, we've tried the biocellius ones. Did you try one of those red dial neck ones, Mom? <laughs> those are the biocellulous ones, and they're kind of clear and plasticky. You should try one. What are you saving those neck ones for, Mom? You gotta just start using them. I was gonna actually do like a little blog segment where I looked in your fridge and looked at your face masks, but I forgot. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it's a very strong fabric for whatever that's worth. Oh, maybe that's why you can't cut it. Yeah. Put your glasses on then, Mom. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> May as well. That's like the security blanket. Yours is very transparent compared to mine. I think yours would be. Like, just like his forehead, though. Just you guys know that? <laughs> Excuse me. Like, I feel like I'm, like, adhered to. <clears throat> but, yeah. Cool. Size-wise, it's not a good fit for your nose. Um, no, not really. It needs to be a bit longer in the nose. Even mine is a little but short on my nose. It's... it's it, for, like... This way it's not too bad. It's adhering to like the the nooks. Yeah. So. Anyway, we need a 15 minute timer. If you guys didn't notice, I'm a little under the weather tonight, so we probably won't be on for super long. Yeah. And if I cough, I'm so sorry. It's also and why then, it's a live stream that we didn't have yeah. the opportunity to record, so. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. But we love doing uh, live streams with you guys. So. They are pretty fun. So. And it's our last live stream of 2017. Yay. Ah, I can't believe it's over. Start a timer for 15 minutes. The... You broke it. The freeze? Oops. Um, that was weird. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Did I have a... Yeah, I think I got confused because I had a previous timer set up. So. That's weird. Yeah. Anyway, back to the random questions. Okay, back to trivia. If you guys know the answers, make sure you Keep put them up. in the live chat. Yeah. Um. So in 1981, Bob and Doug McKenzie released their own version of a Chris classic Christmas song. What song was it? Uh, I would like to know who Bob and Doug McKenzie. You don't know are. Bob and Doug McKenzie? No. This is like the first Canadian thing that <laughs> I know that you don't. Um, They're Canadian. They are indeed Canadian. 
um, I want, did they start on, like, SCTV? Um, but then, like, branched into their own thing, and they had, like, a movie. I don't know. Um, geez, we'll have to watch some. Mm, I don't know about that. I want to say it's, like, the 12, uh, they have a rendition of the 12 Days of Christmas, maybe. Oh, my God, you're right. Yeah. What is, who are you? It's probably about, like, Impressive. beer or something, or just Canada. Wow. Oh, this is an easy one. What animated 2004 film is about a train that carries kids to the North Pole on Christmas Eve? Um, I think Tom Hanks is I, He is. He plays <laughs> a character, but and it looks like him, but it's animated. Um, I want to say like the Polar Express. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Polar, yeah, the yeah. Polar Express. Whoops. Oh, I've ruined that one. Oh, which much reviled Christmas edible is known for its long shelf life. Fruitcake. Do you like fruitcake? I don't know. Do you like fruitcake, Mom? I've never really had fruitcake. Like, it never comes up. It's not a holiday oh, thing. I'm going to have to get you some fruitcake. Look forward to that on Christmas. Do I don't think I fruitcake? like fruitcake. You're my fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> I've been singing cabaret all night, so... Oh, my God. Yep. Okay, so these are the not too easy <laughs> questions. And Charles... Nothing wrong with cabaret or... I think there is something wrong with cabaret. Uh, I hate musicals. Or being into cabaret. Does right anybody there? in cabaret anymore? No. No, it's a pretty, that's a bit old, I think. It had its time. It's Renaissance too. But you gotta stop dead. talking about cabaret. Life is a cabaret, <laughs> old chum. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. What was Mr. Scrooge's first that's name? That's so easy. Yeah. Ebenezer. 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 Yeah. Ebenezer. What kind of a name is Ebenezer? Um, what Bing Crosby <laughs> song is the best selling single ever? And it's a Christmas song? And Bing Crosby sings it. Yeah. I want to say, like, White Christmas? Judy says she doesn't like dark fruitcake. There's a dark fruitcake? We'll have to remember that on Christmas. Okay, sounds good. Go for the lighter. Are oh, you supposed I thought... to eat them with like whipped cream or alcohol? Isn't that a thing you like duck it in? I mean, alcohol? you could just like eat anything. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to say What a Wonderful World. That's is that not a Christmas, Christmas song. What a Wonderful World. Uh, that is. Um... Damn it. I spoiled it. <laughs> it is like Christmas. Did you guess White Christmas? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Um, mm. That's like Louis Armstrong. <laughs> oh. I see trees of green, red roses too. How about the school the skies are blue? I see them bloom for me and you. Oh, I just noticed this thing. And I think to myself, what a, what a wonderful world. You're pretty good at world. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Years of practicing, Louis Armstrong. Lears? Lears. <laughs> Um, yeah. Mm. I'm very sing songy today. I don't know. <laughs> it's alright. I shouldn't have had coffee before this. <laughs> we had coffee. Yeah. <laughs> In the early 1800s, the first gingerbread houses were reportedly inspired by what famous fairy tale? Um, Hansel and Gretel. That's so easy. We were just talking about Hansel and we Gretel. We were. It's so hot right now. Judy says that's plum pudding, rum, and whipped cream sauce, uh, not fruit cake. You should have plum pudding. I don't know. Do you like plum pudding, <laughs> Judy? Miracle on 34th Street centers on what real-life department store? I have never seen that movie. Um, I think I have. It in Star, or stars Mara Wilson finding Santa Claus. Mara Wilson? I think so, yeah. Like, I guess she should be too old. I mean, young for that. No, it was like one of her earlier careers. Oh. I think. I could be wrong. Um, I Wasn't Miracle on 34th Street like... Oh, there might have been a remake. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Um, I want to say it was Macy's, though. Macy's? Dang. Oh. In the Christmas song, oh Grandma Covered Over by a Reindeer, what incriminating evidence was found on Grandma's back? I um, say reindeer paws. It was either reindeer paws or like sled tracks or something like that. So you say reindeer paws, I'll say sled tracks. Mm. Claws, claws marks. Claws marks? Don't know what those are. What the hell are those? Judy only likes plum pudding with lots like of rum. So, I think you guys could enjoy that together. Yay! What are you going to do for, like, Doug's cooking our Christmas Eve dinner. So, what are you cooking for us? A surprise. Oh, we can't say? 
No, exactly. Maybe it'll be in the vlog. I was trying to learn how to, like, cook random things. So I'm going to cook a whole chicken. Why not? How did you learn to cook a whole chicken? Binging with Babish. <laughs> yeah. And, like, basics. So, yeah. We'll yeah. We'll just dissect the chicken. That Last year we had a vegetarian. Yeah. T- turkey. Worked up pretty we well. We had turkey. It was good. Yeah. <clears throat> and so. we dissed it. I mean, made in Japan. We also watched well. a lot. She said chopperki is not good, but I didn't mind it. I feel like there are better substitutes. <clears throat> Probably. But it works. It's easily accessible. <laughs> there was way too much of it, too. Oh, oh. Damn, I keep looking at the answers. How many reindeer are featured in the poem, Twas a Night Before Christmas? Name them all. But they're a different number. Name them all from the poem. Oh, this one? Yeah. Pastor, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Hmm. Boom, there's eight. No Rudolph. Dang. <laughs> what traditional Christmas decoration is actually a parasitic plant? Holly. Really? That's the only Christmas decoration I'm I can guess. I'm going to those red, <laughs> red flower ones. What are those called? The ones that like are like little balls. No, no, no. Not the little the ones. The big ones. The big flowers. Um, corpse? Mis- not mistletoe. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, ho- I was thinking mistletoe, but... Is holly mistletoe? I don't know. I can't think. <clears throat> oh. I would Google it, but I don't care that much. No, I don't either. Uh, Jesus says, no to- not tofu again. Oh. What's wrong with tofu? You said it was good. Babe! Stop looking at the answers. <laughs> we'll skip it. <laughs> Who played Scrooge in Muppet Christmas Carol? With Michael Caine. Who's Michael Caine? Michael, you know Michael Caine? I probably do, but I don't know. Um, hello, I'm Michael Caine. Anyway, <laughs> okay. he does a great impression of himself at one point. It's terrible. <clears throat> Look it up. Um. Okay, what beverage company? <laughs> I don't know why this isn't easy. What beverage company oh has been using Santa Claus in its advertising since 1931? Um, Mellow Yellow. What? No. Totally. It's Coke. Yeah, no, it's Coke. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> what's wrong with Mellow Yellow? It's not Christmas. It's called Mellow Yellow. <laughs> Quiet Riot. Anyway. Quiet Riot. Yeah. <clears throat> Quiet Riot. It is apparently not the same mistletoe and holly. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> According to legend, what holiday goodies were shaped to resemble a shepherd's staff as a way to remind children of shepherds who visited baby Jesus? These are so easy. Candy canes? Gotta be candy canes. Yeah. Um, okay, here's hard. <laughs> uh, oh, damn. In a movie, A Christmas Story, what was the name of the next door neighbors whose dog ate the Christmas turkey? I don't think I watched that movie. You didn't, or else you would know about the, the lamp. Oh, that lamp is great. Uh, <laughs> you were talking to me the other day. But um, I don't know. I don't know if like Max or Rex or something, but... The bumpuses. <laughs> it was the name of the neighbors, not the dog. Oh, the d- neighbors, yeah. Sorry. What no. figure from English folklore came to be associated with Santa Claus? I'm thinking, like, it's not like St. Nicholas or something like that, is it? I'm going to say Father Christmas. Oh, Father oh, Christmas yeah. is right. I don't know who. I was going to say St. Nicholas was in like English. I thought it was like German. German? Yeah. Probably. Name the animatronic cassette playing bear toy that every kid wanted for Christmas in the mid 80s. Teddy Ruxpin? I'm sure it was Teddy Ruxpin. Yep. Ruxpin. Ruxpin, yep. Yeah. In the 1964 uh. classic, which we just watched on TV when we were babysitting my mom's house, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, what was the name of Rudolph's faithful elf companion? I don't know if I knew this one. George. Not George. He wanted to be a dentist. George. Yeah, I remember that. Does it rhyme with dentist? Um. Do you know this his one? His name is Crentist. Crentist. Yeah. Mm. Crentus the dentist. Hermie. Hermie. Hermie the elf. I guess. Hermie the elf. Sounds familiar. Can you read this one? Oh. <laughs> According to folklore in Austria and other countries, what horned figure punishes naughty children at Christmas time? Is that the one that you were talking it's about? That, yes, it's Krampus. Krampus. 
Krampus. Ugh, Krampus. But I was commenting, it's really weird that Krampus suddenly became like a thing recently. What's with Krampus? There was a horror movie, wasn't there? There was a horror movie, but like even before that, he like suddenly came into like the social consciousness and mm-hmm. it was just like weird. We were watching like a Bob's Burger episode where it kind of came up. They, like, that was a recent one though. Yeah, but it was like a rendition of Krampus. And that's why we were talking about it, I guess. Was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, in the TV special, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, what three words best describe the Grinch? I want to say three sizes too small. Three sizes too small. What would you say? That was four words. I know, it's heart too small. <laughs> heart too small. Um, mean. Oh, you're the mean one, no. Mr. Grinch. There was definitely... You're foul and something. Mean foul and... There was definitely a part where the something, the something. singer. If I had, had to describe like, you in just three words, I would describe you as a something crocodile. Oh, um, oh. No. But the. Uh, stink, stink, and thunk. Yeah. We didn't watch that one at my mom's house. We did not. We because they had to... Frosty and then Frosty 2, and we couldn't do it. Frosty 2. <clears throat> um, what well known Christmas carol became the first song ever broadcast from space in 1965? I didn't know that was a thing. <clears throat> Um, is there any songs about space? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So, White Christmas? Jingle bells. bells. Oh, that makes sense. It's such a simple song. What modern day country was St. Nicholas born? Germany. I guess, yeah. Is that your guess? Yeah. Turkey! Turkey? Didn't know that. Yeah, no. I guess it would be like Klaus or something, Nicholas. Because Klaus, yeah, so. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, so St. Nicholas is. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, what Christmas carol does the Peanuts gang sing at the end of A Charlie Brown Christmas? Is it a Tenenbaum or something? I want to say Silent Night. Hark, Hark the, the Herald, Herald Angels, Angels sing. sing. We did not watch that one either. No, so. apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, was the night before Christmas was originally published under what name? Halloween Town. I was thinking the night before Christmas, not twas the night before Christmas. Oh, wait, I'm not, I'm thinking of a totally different movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're thinking of like <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. Santa Claus, a visit from St. Nicholas. Would not have known that. Whoops. What holiday movie sequel do- includes a cameo from Donald Trump? It is Home Alone 2. Yep. Um, oh, we didn't answer. That's all the questions. <laughs> that's all the questions. Like, give another one. We're going to run out of time. I guess we probably are. How much time do we have? One minute. Okay, cool. How many can you get right? Hi, Pamela. Thanks for joining Hi, Pamela. us. Hi, <laughs> Pamela. Welcome <Oops>. to the <laughs> show. Glad to hear you're new. Hope you join us for a while. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully you weren't there for when we were like completely silent because our mic wasn't running. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Before coming tied up with Christmas, what was Yule? Um, it's a type of. Oh, Yule. Yule. Isn't it like a Roman? Mm. Or no, I'm thinking of Festivus. Yeah. I'm going to say it's probably a celebration mm-hmm. of the shortest day of the, what is that called? Um, solstice? Winter solstice. It's not a log, is it? Let's see. The Pagan, pagan Midwinter Festival. Yeah. Which, hold on. Okay, yeah, no. Doesn't talk about festivus. It was celebrated by Germanic peoples and was connected to Norse mythology. Yeah. With Odin being the Yule father who led the wild hunt across the sky. Ooh. It falls roughly between mid-November to early January. So, maybe not. The middle of Yuletide is Yule. Thank you, Pamela. That's awesome. She said she subscribed, gave you a mm-hmm. thumbs up, and turned on notifications, and shared the stream. So, that is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and we are good, by the way. Oh, well, she's kind of sick, I guess. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit sick. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> yep. But, thank you for asking. How are yeah. you today? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> are you in the Christmas spirit like we are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the French word Noel is often used around Christmas, but what was its original meaning in Latin? I don't know. These are hard questions. I like this. 
I'm gonna say winter. Um, I'm gonna say. I don't know. The timer is up, by the way, but let's keep going. Birth. Birth. Oh. I would not have guessed that. Should we give it more time? No, let's take it off. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. Yeah. If you leave it on too long, you'll get it burnt, like. Like my friend Curtis. My friend Curtis. <laughs> um, so here we go. Mm. Overall, very pleasant experience on my side. Yeah, it's st or like held on really well. Um, good smell to it. Yeah, no scent at all, pretty much, which I really like. There's like a slight, but it's so faint that yeah. it's just like. You can tell like... they didn't add any. Yeah. And I didn't really feel any effect other than like a kind of overall cooling sensation, which I enjoyed. Yeah. Can we throw mine in the garbage? <sighs> Let me just reread the ingredients here. Sure. Yeah, I didn't really talk about the ingredients. Do mine contain pearls? Mine has tea tree oil as the fourth ingredient. That's pretty good. Pearl extract <clears throat> as the fifth ingredient. Castor oil. Oh, there is fragrance in it, but it's the very last ingredient. So overall, I really liked mine. I did too. Any notable things from yours? Um, not really. So it was fairly cool. Like we've kind of stopped. We didn't have these in the fridge before. No. We? we kind of stopped doing that just because it's too cold. It's too cold. Um. Although I <laughs> store my long-term ones in the fridge, but I try oh, to yeah. pull them out before I put them on. Yeah, but it was still like a nice like cooling sensation the whole time yeah and it wasn't dripping it adhered to me very well i don't know about yep. you it did for my skin beard not at all but that's to be expected oh, yeah. yeah um uh, the so, yeah. sheet itself was nice yeah. i don't know what made it a cell sheet as opposed to in any other face mask sheet but for anyone who missed it i tried to cut the <clears throat> beard off but it didn't work it was pretty strong yeah high i don't quality. really try that hard but i mean <laughs> it's e hard to rip it so that's yeah Something. And I really appreciate the fact that mine has tea tree, tree in it because it's supposed to be really good for acne. So mm. I would totally do this again. And see, I don't need that because mm. my skin is flawless. Yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> all that lucky. <laughs> when we were at Save on Food, there were the other ones with the bird's nest. What brand was that one? It was a Korean brand Aqu that I, I can't say. remember. Aquaman. We've tried it before. They were so smelly. I didn't Link really like right them. right here. Yeah. But, so I would say if you're in our situation, <laughs> skip the other brand and go with the Misho ones. Yeah. These were really nice. I think I like these ones a bit better. The other one was a bit like, eh. It was yeah. just notable because. It, it was, was a like, fun ingredient, but yeah. it didn't really do much. Yeah. So what would you give these ones out of five? <clears throat> um, I would say um, maybe like a 3.5 or a 4. Wow. Yeah. I'm so, going to say a 3.5. So. Yeah, yeah, no complaints, but it didn't like blow my mind. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's not like you're not gonna it's not a mind altering yeah. face mask. There's only a few of those, like bubble masks. <laughs> but they're cheap mm. enough that I would easily do them again, and How? this could be a regular. How much were they? I want to say between two fifty and three dollars. So yeah, very not too reasonable. Bad. And just that like save on. or save on, yeah. yeah so <clears throat> yeah. Would you repurchase? Um, uh, I don't know. I might not just because I feel like you'd probably repurchase them, mm -hmm. and so I just mooch off you. But, but you would do it again if I bought I'd them. probably do it again. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And actually, I remember they had like five or six different types or yeah, like flavors did. of these ones. Yeah, so yeah. we'll have to go definitely really try it again. I was surprised you picked the pearl one because you don't normally like brightening face masks. Was it brightening? Yeah. It said on the little story. Oh, yeah. I didn't actually read the story when I bought it, so. But uh, that's all right. Yeah. Do you look brighter? Uh, do I? Maybe. I don't know. That was hard to tell. Yep. <laughs> anyway, you want to do a couple more trivia? Sure. Let's just <clears throat> have some fun. Oh, this one's the one that you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roman holiday held from December 17th to December 23rd had a large influence on how Christmas was celebrated. Um, I want to say Festivus, but I can see that it's not. Saturnalia. Yeah. It might be called the same thing, though. What was Festivus? I'm looking it up now. Festivus? <laughs> yeah, what? Am I totally crazy? Festivus. Um. Seinfeld. Why is that like the first thing that came up? 
Um, it is a secular holiday celebrated on oh. the 23rd um, as an alternative to pressures of commercialism of Christmas. It started with Seinfeld. Wow, I was way off. That's awesome. really random. What? Pamela wants to know, oh would you God. do your boyfriend's makeup? And actually, I have, I think twice. I'm pretty sure you have. So, I think we could yeah. probably link it in the she, side. She would do my makeup. I would do it again as well, but I don't know if he'll let me. Because last time I tried to tie oh, line, man. and he had irritated eyes for a while. Yeah, like, so yeah, the like eyeliner, whatever it was. Yeah. Um... It burned my eyes for like days. It's because you just have to, you can't take it off so aggressively. You just gotta let it linger. It I adds a mystery. I could not see for like days. So, <laughs> so maybe, I think there was some kind of reaction. Maybe, maybe you could do your own makeup. We could try again sometime. Uh, if the fans are asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you see that? I did. Okay, let's get that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm skipping that. That's interesting. The modern Santa Claus is mainly a mix of what two figures? Um, Saint Nicholas and and Father Christmas. Father Christmas. I'm pretty sure. Are they different people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, if you said Odin, that would be correct. Huh. So Saint Nicholas was a Greek bishop. Oh, interesting. Who is famous for his generosity and <laughs> gift giving? And then Father Christmas is just this English. Yeah, Christmas personification cheer. of Christmas cheer. Mm. So, yeah, neat. Pamela says, My boyfriend would never let me do his makeup. Aww. So, that sucks. And. Yeah, well. Maybe he also has had a bad experience with tight lining that he maybe. just doesn't want to bring up again. <laughs> but you gotta smart, start small. Like, be like, Do you want me to just conceal under your eyes? Or. Yeah, just. Get you want to just try blemish? some lipstick? I think the first time I applied makeup to you was at Halloween when we were watching horror movies. <laughs> and I was like, let's put on Nosferatu because yeah. it's creepy and we're watching Nosferatu. Yeah. And you did it. And then we drew little blood streaks on the side of our mouth. And it got everywhere. Because I forgot that I was on. I was like, bro. And I was like, blah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good time. Good Very time. romantic. Yeah. <clears throat> romantic Nosferatu. <laughs> oh, yeah. For her makeup. <laughs> Uh, what political cartoonist was largely res responsible for defining what the modern Santa Claus looks like? I don't like? know any I political cartoonist. No idea. Thomas Nast. He drew a picture of Santa Claus for January 1st, 1881 of Harper's Weekly. Yep. Neat. So, yeah. Here's oh, the here's drawing. drawing. Oh. Wow. Not what I expected. No. Let's see if I can show you guys. What Santa Claus looks like. Apparently. Like that. Like that. Cool. That looks a lot like Santa. It does. And I can see the like the political tones to it maybe. Or I see how that person has that like political I don't like feel. Like I can definitely I don't I don't know. It looks like a newspaper sketch, but it's a, just that like era of like newspaper cartoonists that like makes me think politics. There's Santa. Yeah. I'm surprised that capture worked pretty well. Good job, babe. Hmm, I'm an expert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we already know that one. Oh stop my looking. god. Stop looking at the answers. Uh, okay. What entrepreneur was the first person to dress up as Santa in his department store and started the tradition of department store slash mall Santas? Mr. Macy? Mr. Macy? James Edgar, who owned a department store in Brockton, Massachusetts. 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 What were we watching that was making fun of Massachusetts? They were saying it wrong on purpose. Oh, yeah. What was that? That was, that was a funny show. Yeah. No wonder children cry, says mom. And I agree. Let's take a go. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Song trivia. Uh, yeah. Did you see? I did. Oh. Look away. Okay. In what country did Silent Night originate? Um, I'm gonna say Germany. I'm gonna say Jerusalem. Austria. Austria. Damn I was it. closer. Can yeah, you say I think the I original knew... German title? Uh, Stillnacht. Heilignacht. 
Nice. I don't know if I said that right at all. Mm. But yeah, I could definitely see how it's. Yeah. What was the <laughs> was the Christmas cruise? In oh, oh, okay. In Super famous. What was the original title for the Little Drummer Boy? Um, Probably something about California raisins. They did not start the Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> um, the small drumming man. Carol of the drum. Oh, we could have known that. <clears throat> okay. Um, no. Not bad question. No. What jaunty Christmas carol, written in 1739, was supposed to be accompanied by slow and somber music? Jingle bells. No. Um. I don't know if that's true, but I'm saying no. <laughs> what? You can't think of the jingle bells being really slow and somber? I don't think jingle bells was written in 1739. Um. Here comes oh, Santa come Claus, on, here faithful. comes Santa Claus, right down there Santa Claus There was no Santa Claus in 1730. We already learned that was 1881. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Hark, Hark the Herald Angels Again. Sing. Why? That's not jaunty. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It was not. Yeah, I guess we're going to move on. <laughs> that's a stupid question. Stop, stop looking at the answers. I'm bad at scrolling. Okay. What plant-based Christmas tradition did servants in Victorian England popularize? Um, was it putting mistletoe up? Kissing, Kissing under, under the mistletoe. mistletoe. Okay. Okay, look away. Okay. I'm really bad at scrolling. Anyway. Who created the first electric light Christmas display? Um... Thomas Edison? Yes! How Did you know that? No, I think I just knew that. Was, or mm. I think I did. I knew he was the light bulb mm. guy, so I think I remember he just kind of put it up. Scrolling past a lot, babe. Point said it. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> what old Christmas tradition signals to people passing by that the... What? What old Christmas tradition signals to people passing by that the residents of the house are Christian? Is it having like a wreath on the door? What do you think? I'm gonna, mm, I don't know. Putting candles in the window. Candles in the window. I would not have thought about that. Huh. Never done that. Questions but are there here? There's a lot of questions. General Christmas trivia. Mm. Skip them past a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> The man who voiced the Grinch in How the Grinch Stole Christmas was most famous for playing what popular Hollywood monster in our Hollywood trivia? Um, yeah, I should know. Was it, it wasn't Boris Karloff, was it? Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster. Boris Karloff. Wow. Boom. Oh, in the 50s, maybe? What, what year was the Grinch Stole Christmas in? I don't know. That's amazing yeah. that you knew that. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking, like, mm. it sounds like him, and he's, yeah. Mm. Okay, what is the most popular meal for Christmas in Japan? Do you know this? No. It's KFC. KFC. Yep. It's so popular, in fact, that you have to order in advance. Why KFC? I don't know, but that's a thing. You have to <laughs> order, like, weeks in advance. Maybe not weeks, but is that why you're definitely making in, in advance. It's weird, but yeah, that's a thing. Um, okay. Stop looking. Uh, you're scrolling oh, that's all the, all the questions. questions. There oh. were a lot of bad questions, but okay. anyway. Um, we did successfully do the masks, and we successfully reviewed them, and we successfully did some trivia. Is it really difficult to? How do you? How are you unsuccessful in a mask? It was like burning, and you could not. Okay, it. I guess. And we just got distracted <laughs> and like never came back to it. So we we stayed on track. We did it. Okay, cool. We hope you guys are just having. Just wanted to know the criteria so that we can. And there's a low standard. But right. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season as we ramp up to Christmas. Yeah, thank you for joining Ten us, days. Pamela and Judy. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining. If you guys are watching in the future, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you're watching in the future. Yeah, it's not too. What sci-fi things exist now? What the Let us know. Sense. 
is no fun. <laughs> Just any hiking? <laughs> well, exist now in the future that the people are living in. What? Right? Does anybody understand that? People in the future, back me up. Oh, like tomorrow? <laughs> mm. Anyway. So now, so now go watch Bob and Doug McKenzie. Yep. I don't know if I want to, uh, honestly. <laughs> but be good like Pamela. Give us a <laughs> like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share us with anybody who might find our channel. Fun and entertaining. Yeah. We are done for the weekend, but we will be back on Monday with another vlog. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, now you pretty much ripped everything off that I was going to oh, say. Oh, yeah, you're supposed oh, to do the closing. Uh, thank you to all of our Patreons. Yeah, thanks to all our Patreons. Um, so, yeah. Two of them were Ooh. present tonight, so thank oh, you. Nice. Thank you, guys. Am I one of them? Yes. Oh, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I guess we'll see you I think that's again. all we got to say. So thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Now I had to awkwardly close it. Bye, you guys.